Hey Internet, it's Big Stiffy here. I'm back again. And I managed to clean up my house just a little bit. Um, my machines like Macerator, uh, Furnace, Extractor, they're all down in my new cellar. Check it out. Yeah, I got a cellar. Now, uh, I'm probably at one point going to have to uh, fix this cabling. Uh, but the reason I didn't, you know, just dig out this block and this block up here and do it up that way is uh, because up on top of that dirt block is the geothermal generator. So I'll have to fix that at some point, but I think I'll wait until everything runs out of power before I do that. And so far I've got my electric furnace, my uh, macerator and extractor down here. Uh, nothing else just yet. Um, I'm getting ready to put together a couple solar panels. To do that I needed 16 blue doped wafers. Because it's eight, it's eight blue doped wafers per solar, pa uh, per solar panel. So it can get pretty expensive. And there's a spider somewhere around here. Uh, it's up there. It's not too much of a nuisance other than just listening to it constantly. Alright, and uh, put my bat box in the border here. And uh, it should build up power relatively quick. It's not going to be super fast, but it'll work. Um, I'm going to have to build myself, I think it's called a harvester. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. No, I guess it's not called a harvester. I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna have to build something in order to harvest all this peat. And I fell in a puddle of water. All right, and yeah, as you can see, it's it's slowly filling up. And let's see, what else do I need to do? Oh, and making those blue doped wafers can get quite expensive. Um, because aside, aside from the fact that solar panels need eight, uh, blue doped wafers, to make one blue doped wafer, you go through four, uh, nickelite dust. So, uh, yeah, you really do end up running out pretty quick. And it looks like I'm running low on, uh, hunger again. So I'm gonna need to go get some nourishment. doesn't show the blue electric furnace is getting any power so I think I might have to move it but I'll put this raw chicken in there for now and I'll go up and deposit my feathers up here this is gonna be really nice once I uh, finally got this sorting system put together no more running back and forth up and down Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's definitely not getting any power, so I'm gonna move that. And where do I want to put it? Uh, that's a good question. I guess I'll put it right there. Doesn't matter too much. And uh, let's see. I guess I'm gonna need to get the rest of my uh, blue electric cabling. So I had a feeling it wasn't going to work just where it was, unfortunately. Is that going to work? I can't tell. Uh, no, it's still not working. Hmm. See, that that's a problem with this uh, blue electric cabling is I think it has to be going straight in otherwise uh, it's not gonna transfer any power whatsoever so 
to make this, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna need uh, silver. I think it's the silver ingots and nickelite dust. And I'll make myself a couple uh, blue alloy ingots. Now what I can do is I can cut up a block using my uh, handy dandy diamond handsaw. And I already cut I already made uh, some uh, wood plank covers. But I think I'm going to use something else for the covers. Uh, what else can I use? Um not much. Well, I guess I guess uh, wood's gonna have to do for now. So I'm gonna go back down, and I'm gonna need to cut up a couple more blocks. And I, actually, I'll just make it out of cobblestone. There we go. Good. So now I'll make some uh, jacketed blue electric cabling and this stuff I think is going to help out a little better oh yeah now it's transferring power good only thing is I'm going to have to cover that up and place those blocks back and just one more there. Yeah. Cool. Alright. So, I can put this stuff back in there. As well as that, because I don't need that. Or this or that. And I think I can put the sand in there too. Now, one thing that I'm going to require is a, a compressor. So, let's see, what's the recipe for the compressor? I need six smooth stone, a machine block, and a circuit. Okay, not too big a deal. I need to get myself eight iron ingots so that I can make a machine block. And I'm going to need to make myself some smooth stone. Because I already have the stuff needed to make the circuit. There we go. Alright. So I'll let that stuff cook up. I'll eat up. Alright. Groovy. And I guess I'll sleep through the night. Okay, and it's daytime, so I can go down here, and oh good, look at all the power that's gotten into that. Yeah, I'll just put my uh, six cobblestone in there, because I think that cooks a little bit a little bit faster than the uh, electric furnace. But that won't be so much of a problem once I have a uh, upgrade for my electric furnace. And I can go put away some of my cabling in uh, this chest. It's going to take me a while to get used to where all my stuff is now. Um, Alright, so... Six of those, and one of each. And now I got a compressor! Awesome! Now the reason I have a compressor is that I want to make an upgrade to my electric furnace. And I don't mean one of the uh, modular upgrades that you can uh, add and remove at your leisure. I want to turn my electric furnace into a uh, induction furnace. And to do that, I'm going to need some uh, special material that I only get from using a compressor. So let's see, to make the induction furnace, so I need seven copper bars, 
my electric furnace and an advanced machine block. So to make the advanced machine block, it's a normal machine block, two carbon plates, and two advanced alloys. Now to make the advanced alloys, you have to make mixed metal ingots. And to do that, you need three refined iron, three bronze, and three tin. So it gets to be a pretty expensive recipe. But the induction furnace is definitely worth it. So I'll get myself uh, some iron ingots just to uh, hold me over. Uh, I do need more iron, but for now I just need three. And I need to get myself some coal. Because in order to make the, uh, in, to make the uh, carbon plates, uh, you have to macerate coal. And let's see. If I look up coal dust, uh, oops. Yeah, it shows me how to make that. But the uh, the coal dust, I get. I think I only get one coal dust from one macerated coal. So let me just put. Um, I guess. Eight. eight in there and it's gonna take a while for this to macerate so I'm probably just gonna have to wait uh, yeah I'll just cut the video and come back once it's done okay and I got my coal dust now if you combine your coal dust like this you get raw carbon fiber so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself two carbon fiber and the two of those gets you one raw carbon mesh. Now you put the raw carbon mesh into the compressor and that gives you your uh, carbon plate. But it took uh, eight coal in order to uh, get that one carbon mesh. So I'm gonna have to macerate some more and I'll cut the video and come back once that's done and I got my second carbon plate. Okay, and I'm back, and I have my second carbon plate. And I did decide to make my advanced alloys off camera, because that was going to take quite a while to finally accomplish. And let's see, I didn't have. I think I had. Uh, no. Didn't I have. Refined iron? No, I didn't. Oh, son of a gun. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm kind of out of iron at the moment. I'm going to have to make some more. So, again, I'll have to cut the video and come back once I, once I have the materials I need. So, I'll be back. Alright, and I'm back. I have my refined iron. So I got a machine block, two carbon plates, and two advanced alloys. So I get my first advanced machine block. Now I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to grab my electric furnace. And this way I can turn it into an induction furnace. Now the one downside to having an induction furnace is that while it's running, it will use up power. So as long as it's turned on, it's going to be using up power. And I mean turned on as in uh, you apply a redstone signal and it will heat up. See, it's got this heat value. And the higher the heat value goes, the quicker it's going to smelt items. So once it reaches value 100, uh, it no longer uses up a significant amount of energy, but it does use energy to continue running. So I'm going to, let's see, I can get myself a lever, and I can go back down, and I can just turn it on, and voila, it will start heating up. And it may take a while, see, well, it's, uh, it's starting off cold, so it's going to take a long time for it to, heat, to uh, heat up, but the hotter it gets, the faster it heats up. 
so that's pretty cool and I laid down some of the pneumatic tubing that I'm gonna be using but I don't think I like the way this looks um, I'm gonna have to separate a lot of my machines uh, and I may even have some more furnaces and uh, another compressor but I think for the time being this is pretty a pretty good start uh, I think I'm actually gonna run the pneumatic tubing uh, through the dirt here and just cover it up with covers because as cool as it is to watch everything work I like everything to be hidden uh, much like these machines down here so I'm gonna have to get started on that probably in the next episode because uh, there's not too much time left to this one but one of the things that I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to get myself an electric wrench uh, reason being is that uh, let's see can I find the recipe no probably not I'm gonna have to type it in the reason I need to get an electric wrench is while the wrench does remove uh, machines without destroying them, there is a chance that they can be destroyed. A uh, very small chance, but still a chance. It does happen. So I'm going to need to get myself another circuit. And uh, let's see. I'm probably going to have to apply some covalence dust in order to repair this. So I'll be back once I have everything needed, and then I can make my electric wrench. Okay, and I've got my electric wrench. Awesome. Now all I need to do is charge it up, and I won't have to worry about destroying my machines. Now the only other thing to note is that uh, by default, the electric wrench does have a chance of destroying your mach your ma machines. Uh, in order to prevent that from happening, what you need to do is you need to hit M. I think it's uh, yeah, it's right click M, and it puts it in lossless wrench mode. Now this prevents it from destroying machines whenever you uh, retrieve them but it uses up a huge amount of energy to keep from destroying them so if uh, if you remove any of them you'll see just how quickly it drains its energy and uh, if you don't have enough to remove a machine it'll say not enough power to uh, to retrieve in lossless mode so Probably a good thing to have in combination with the electric wrench is the uh, battery pack. If that's what it's actually called. Yeah, it's called a bat pack. As opposed to a bat box, it's called a bat pack because you actually have to wear this in, uh, replace, in uh, you have to replace your chest plate with the bat pack in order to use it. So it takes six batteries, a electronic circuit, and a piece of tin. So the batteries are the most expensive thing out of that. Definitely go through quite a bit of tin and redstone. And one thing I'm going to need to do, and I'll probably do this off camera, but I need to go hunting for some endermen. Now, of course, since it's raining, I can't do it now. Again, that'll probably have to wait until next episode. And uh, one thing I'd like to say before I end the episode is that I got some new hardware today. I got a solid state drive. And that's going to, the uh, sole purpose for that is going to be for just recording raw video too. And I'll probably speed up my encoding times dramatically. Uh, another thing is, I. Be, uh, before I recorded this episode, I kind of screwed up. Uh, I didn't run my backup script in order to save my Minecraft uh, data and rebooted my computer. So I ended up losing all the progress I made in the previous episode. So what I did to uh, alleviate this problem is I simply took my backup script and appended it to the end of 
uh, my script for launching Minecraft. So anytime Minecraft closes, it saves to a new folder. Instead of saving just for the day, it saves for the for the date and the hour and minute. So I can close Minecraft as many times as I want, and it's not going to try writing to the same folder. Um, only problem is that leaves me with a lot of backups, but that's okay. Because at least this way I'm not going to lose anything if I uh, accidentally restart my computer and uh, forget to back up. So that's all for this episode, Internet. Take care, and I will see you in space.